Hello students. Today we will learn about neo mendelism or post mendelism. In the last two lectures, we will learn about Mendel's monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross, and laws of inheritance that is, law of dominancy, law of segregation. And law of independent assortment. So, what are the basic findings of Mendel? One of the Mendel findings. So, the kai monohybrid and the dihybrid cross Mendel ni kore. So, the kai laws sangi kore. So, the main kai findings are kache. So, these findings, these are single trait means a character. Single trait. Is controlled by or it is expressed by single gene and that single gene having two alleles. Then two alleles shows interaction with each other. One is completely dominant over the other, and other is recessive. So that is law of dominancy. In heterozygous condition, a dominant the character appears. In the upper generation, is a dominant character. So this one allele is dominant over the other. And third finding is very important one: the factors or the genes present on a different chromosome they assort independently. That is law of independent assortment. So these are the Mendel's finding, but after Mendel, some scientists they work on Mendel experiment. They use different plants and animal for to find out these ratios performed by the Mendel, and they find some exceptions. These exceptions known as deviation. So, which are these deviation? We learn in this session. So, the deviation from Mendel findings, known as a new Mendelism. Why these deviations are occur? These are due to the gene interactions. There are two kinds of gene interactions, or the two types of gene interactions. One is intragenic or known as interallelic interaction and another is a intergenic or non allelic interaction intergenic interaction is the interaction occur between alleles of the same gene interactions occur between the alleles of the same genes for example capital t capital t small t small t or capital t small t capital t and small t these are the two alleles of the same gene so interaction between them for example incomplete dominancy co dominance and multiple allele these are the examples of intragenic interaction and intergenic interaction these are the interactions occur between the alleles of a different genes present on the same or different chromosome so in interactions occur between alleles of a different genes so the same gene and the different gene present on a different chromosome these are the intragenic and intergenic interactions so interaction between the same gene that is intragenic interaction and the interaction between the different gene present on a same or a different chromosome that is known as intergenic interaction example of intergenic interaction these are the pleiotropy polygeny epistasis supplementary or complementary genes okay now we learn one by one first is a incomplete dominancy 
So what incomplete it is not complete dominance. So Mendel states that characters appear in the upper generation. These are the dominant characters. Okay. So this incomplete and co-dominancy they do not follow the rule of Mendel. These are the exception to the law of dominancy. So the incomplete and the co-dominancy, these two examples or these two concepts, these are these two phenomena, these are the exception to the law of dominancy. So what is incomplete dominancy? See this diagram. The red flower is crossed with the white flower. Red is dominant over the white. So red is, is denoted by the capital R, capital R. And white flower denoted by the small, small R, small R. These are the flowers of Mirabelli Jalapa. So the two plants, example here, consider that is a flower color in a Mirabelli Jalapa or a four o'clock tone. So these two plants, one plant having red flower, another flower having the white flower. So the red character is dominant over the white flower. So these two flowers, they, these two plants, they cross together and F1 generation shows all flowers are pink. So here, the intermediate character is occur. Character is occur in intermediate. It is not red completely or it is not completely white. According to Mendel, the dominant character which are appearing in the generation. There is R is dominant, red is dominant, but this red is not completely appear in a Yapon generation. Here, intermediate, that is pink color of flower is occurring. So, this is known as incomplete dominancy. Incomplete dominancy means, in a complete dominancy, both alleles or genes of an allelomorphic pair, they express themselves partially. Here, the gene, capital R, capital R, and the capital R, small r, they form the Gametes or they form the F1 generation. When we are crossing these two plants, the, the F1 is formed that is capital, capital R and small r. Here, these two genes they express partially. Here, one gene is never recessive or dominant. So, the alleles are not dominant in a heterozygous condition. According to the Mendel, the one allele is dominant in a heterozygous condition and another is recessive. So this law is or this concept incomplete dominancy, we do not follow the mental laws of dominance. So one allele cannot suppress the expression of other allele. One allele cannot suppress the expression of a other allele. Here red is dominant or the R is this dominant allele, it do not separate the white color or small r. So these two capital R and small r, these two allele, they express partially, not completely. They express partially, therefore it is known as an incomplete dominancy. See this cross, red flower cross with white flower. Gametes are formed, these are the, the gamete, these are the capital R, small r, capital R, small r, they fertilize, after fertilization, F1 is formed, so the, all flowers, they are occur, these are the pink flower. So the pink flower, we get pink flower, see this. Pink flower that is this is the this is the F1 generation. 
So the F1 generation, in F1 generation, we get capital R, small r. So r is dom r is never or r is not dominant. Capital R is not dominant on a small r. Both bits, capital R and small r, they both express par they both express partial. They do not. So this uh, gametes are formed with capital R, capital R, then selfing to form the F2 generation. In the F2 generation, individuals are formed with these are one is red flower, another is another one is red, two, these are the pink flower, and one is the white flower. Here R capital R capital R denote the red flower, capital R small r, capital R small r denote the pink flower, and small r small r denote the white flower. So the genotypic and phenotypic ratio is one as to one. See here, genotypic ratio is one as to two as to one, and phenotypic ratio is one as to two as to here the rr one r for the red flower capital r small r for the pink flower and small r small r for the white flower so the genotypic and phenotypic ratio is equal in a codominancy or in a incomplete dominancy or also in a codominancy both genotypic and phenotypic ratio these are the equal Okay, I think you understand about incomplete dominancy. So the example here taken, example the red and white flower of a mirabilis jalapa, which is also known as a four o'clock plant. Okay. The next uh, codominancy. Okay. So, in incomplete dominancy, allelomorphic pairs express themselves partially. This term or this sentence you remain, uh, remember this one. In codominancy, both the allelomorphic or both the alleles of an allelomorphic pair express themselves equally. So the alleles they express equally in a codominancy and in an incomplete dominancy, alleles express partially. That is the main difference between complete and a incomplete dominancy. See example the red cow is a cross with the white cow. A cow having a skin color that is red and white. So the red red color cow, the genotype denoted by letter capital R, capital R, here capital R capital R and here white cow that is capital W capital W. These two genotypes they get crossed, we get F1 generation. In the F1 generation, observation of F1 generation that is R come from the red. And W, this can form the genotype of a white cow. This is from the white and R from the red. So, this F1 generation in which wrong they get obtained. So, there is um, these characters, mixture of red 
and white characters that occur in a cow in a fun generation they showing hind patches of a red and white skin color so this is known as a roan so the cross between red cow and white cow the f1 generation shows or f1 hybrid shows a roan the roan means the cow having skin color that is red and white patches so this red and white color they are equally expressed the allele r and w r for red and w for the white they are equally expressed in a f1 generation see at this two allele r capital r and capital w they are together in f1 hybrid but they do not mix in similar way in a incomplete dominancy the alleles are remain together in f1 generation but they do not mix that mix means they do not blend they do not have blending in a sense they do not mix with each other so this is very important point because otherwise if they mix then f2 generation they should all that is roan colored uh, cow or your offspring are formed in a f2 generation so they do not show the blending in inheritance because why the in f2 generation we get white and red also offspring are obtained in a f2 generation we have the red and also white so by selfing this a roan or interbreeding by roan and roan we get offspring four offspring by using this checkerboard see here so by selfing roan r w r w we get gametes that is male gametes you write here r w r and w here you write female gametes r and w so the individuals or offspring they are formed capital r capital r this is the red complete then capital r capital w capital r capital w these are the roan and w and w this is the white so the red individual is one two roan and one is a white so the genotypic ratio is one as to two as to one and also phenotypic ratio is also one as to two as to one so the genotypic and phenotypic ratio they are equal in a that is one as to two as to one in a, a co-dominancy and incomplete dominancy okay then we learn the next concept that is multiple alleles so what is multiple allele more than two alternative forms of gene in a population occupying on a same locus of chromosome or its homology is called as multiple allele more than two alternative forms of a gene means for example here remember that the blood group is controlled by the gene i so this single gene it having three alleles allele i a i b and i o so more than two alternative forms of a gene so these are the three alleles alternative forms of gene i okay so they are known as a multiple alleles these are multiple alleles they shows interactions they shows complete dominance co dominance okay or one allele is dominant over the 
another one is dominant or another is recessive so they having some interaction so the why this multiple alleles are formed multiple alleles they are formed due to the mutation some mutations are take place in in a normal or in a wild type of alley to form the different types of a alley okay so here uh, blood group a shows genotype that is or alleles i a i a it is homozygous condition or i a and i o here in a heterozygous condition i a i o is a heterozygous condition i a i o is a homozygous condition so i a i a it indicates blood group a i a and i o it also indicates blood group a because a is dominant over the i o okay due to the presence of this a and b factor or b allele some sort of antigens are produced on a red blood cell and they help to determine the blood group so specific antigens are produced on a surface of rbc suppose the rbc it having antigen a then this blood group is the a suppose this rbc having surface antigen b then this blood group is definitely a b because there are both genes are present on a red blood cell here the b blood group is due to the gene or due to the alleles i b i b or i b i o and o due to the i o i o in case of o blood group surface antigens are absent in o blood group surface antigens are absent they do not show the surface and pcm then in case of ab blood group so this basically three alleles are there whenever these two alleles i a and i b they come together and to form the ab blood group because they produce a gene also a antigen or b antigen also on a surface of a red blood cell so they are equally expressed so the blood group ab it shows a codominancy why blood group ab shows codominancy in a in a blood group ab both genes or the ia and i a i a or i a and i b is both genes express equally and to produces a antigen or b antigen surface antigen on a red blood cell so these are equally expressed so they equally expressed therefore it is a good example of a co dominancy okay so the ab blood group shows a co dominancy So in case of blood group, three alleles of a one gene, they show the six different genotypes, and the four phenotypes. The four phenotypes means the blood group A, B, AB, and O. And six genotypes these are the some homozygous, some heterozygous. For example, blood group A having I A I A or I A I O. and b having i b i b i b i o sometimes it is small i also so we can for the i o o for o blood group having i o i so it is a homozygous condition 
and for the AB, IA, IB. So this, whenever IA, IB alleles come together, then there is definitely the blood group is a AB. And IO, IA, when these two alleles are come together, then there is definite blood group is a A. Some problems we solve uh, on this blood group for the NEET exam or for the CET exam. Some questions are asked on a blood group problem. What are the possible blood groups of parents or what are the possible blood groups of the offsprings? Or you find out the blood groups. So you remember with the blood group and their alleles or the genotype. Okay, then okay. Uh, we start here. Then in the in next session, we will learn about the PO track. Please read this content from your textbook and uh, try to solve some questions given below the uh, after complete completion of this lesson or in uh, from your textbook. So you solve these uh, questions on a blood group. Try to solve these 